Benu and Amber Sashim Nidimno or two or three. Amen. So it doesn't matter, no matter. It's as sure as one of you are two, I'll be there with you. Hallelujah. So we'll be on our feet as we give him praise. Yeji wudi na ye o yeji wudi na ye we are tia sifo we are one when ni yeji wudi na ye ye we are tia sifo. We are one when he would be. Oh, she be she would be. Are you Mohine? Yes, she would be. Yeah, we are Tia. She fall. We are one when he. Ye ye wudi na ye ayu re we are tia sifo oh we are one when ye ye wudi na ye oh she ye ye wudi na ye ayu mo hene oh ye ye Wudi na ye, ye we are tia. Sifu, I win ye. We are one when he oh ye ye. Wudi na ye, are you ready? We are tia. Sifu, oh we are one when he oh ye ye. Wudi. And a sister, a hymn, oh, one co around a yaba, so more. Every woman was a swan, Yaman, you know, you know, and a sister, whoa, I am a yeah, one quarter. Who na I have so more? You're a man, one sasua. No man, you know, you're the wood you made the jewa. A radio of Fata, O Fata, ye, I is a boy, Radio of Fata, O Fata, ye, and I see a way, and I see a woe. I hear I hear one quarter, who are all I have so more, every woman. Was a swah, oh, never mind, you know, yeah, dee. Would you, my dee? The dee, why, yeah, 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 nothing's a woe. A hymn, a bow, won't quarrel, won't quarrel, now you're back. Some more, oh, my dear, mama, was a swah. Na man yena ye di o chumadi e je wa ye o e rade wo fata o fata ye aye yi sa we e rade wo fata o fata ye yi san be ji wa ye yi o Asro 
ni asasira o wanio nyamashe asorone asasima o sanbe jiwaye yi e asoro ni asasira Hey, when you on your mission, I surrender. I surrender. Oh, when you on your mission, I surrender. I surrender. Hallelujah, son. Chiwaye yi Ebre Uyosro Ni asa Siwa Ye Wendyo Onyamashe Asoro ne Nasa Asema Apo Wendyo Onyamashe Ye Asoro ne Sass Oh, cro, cro, yame. Yeah, ye would be. Now, yeah. Oh, brahme, too. I see ye. The brahme, ye would be. Now, yeah. Oh, amra, me, too. I see ye. Hey, you brahme, ye. Wudi na ye, usa ye yo, usa ye yi, apara usa na se, om kro kro nyame, me yi, i wudi na ye, ay yu re, usa ye yi, apara usa na se, Oh, bro, bro, yeah, yeah. May he would be. Me, the was it. And you are, yeah, mommy. Oh, he, the was it. Yes, you. Why you be, oh, why you be, oh. Oh, mo, 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 mo. Yes, mo, re, me. I was here at your way, mommy. Me, I was here, me. I was here at your way, mommy. Oh, me, I was here. Why, if you, why, if you, a paramo, mo, 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 yes, mo, why, if you, me, I was here. I dear why your mommy Yeah mo 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 Yes mo Yere me da was I dear why your mommy And you mean yo mo 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 Yere yes mo me da was Adia why ama mi no was ye mi no was ye Adia why ama mi ayire mi no was ye why ye bi why ye bi aparo mo 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 eh Jesus mo mi no was ye. Me da wasye, me da wasye, 
Tell our blessed name, thank him for his mercy and grace. Oh, that was in my, my soul, bless the Lord. And all that was in me, bless his holy name. Who oh, forgive us all your iniquities, heal all your deities. Oh, deliver your soul from your enemies. Come with loving kindness and tender mercy. We lift your name, man of God, bless up your name. Show what the son of God to you. Who be so merciful to us. Oh, in this Lord, evil age, we have found favor before you, and no have found grace before you in the time on an evil and you will bring evil and destruction upon the world. You made a way for him to escape, oh Lord. I will give you praise and thanks, give Lord, once again tonight for having granted us your things, as if we can express the corruption in the world and also for the wrath that is coming upon this world. We bless your name tonight. We lift your name, Jesus. We say, Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy. We say, Lord, we thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you for your love that will be to us. We lift your name high and above every name. There is none against you, O God. Worthy of God, praise and honor, power and dominion. You are highly lifted up. You who dwells eternity. Your name is holy. Blessed be your name. Thousands of thousands of thousands of angels fall before you and worship your majesty. And tonight we are here also to worship your majesty. There's none, none worthy to receive honor, power, and dominion. Blessed be your name tonight. Glory and praise be to you. We give all the glory. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord. Majesty. Oh, worship is majesty. Unto Jesus be the glory, power, and praise. Oh, majesty. Kingdom authority. Kingdom authority flow from his room, flow from his room unto his own, his sanctuary. Oh, so a soul lift up on high the name of Jesus. Oh, magnify. Come glorify Christ Jesus the King. Oh, majesty. Oh, worship is majesty. Jesus would I now glorify King of all kings. Oh, so as all lift up on I the name of Jesus, oh magnify, come glorify Christ Jesus the King, hey, majesty, oh worship is majesty. Oh, Jesus, who died, now glorified, King of all kings. What a prayer now, come in on seven to sign. We pray the Lord, we come before you. Bible says, Come before our boldness, before the throne of grace to obtain mercy, to find grace to help. So, as we come boldly before Him, let's ask, Lord. May you forgive us anything, we want any iniquity. Watch us and make a word in your blood. Make a soul once again. Where's what you receive your blessing? 
any spot in our garment tonight, Lord, may the power and the blood of Jesus wash us and make us worthy for you. It's you only that can forgive us, O oh God. We are so for your forgiveness. Probably say we say we are not with this ourselves, the truth and in us. But if you come for our sins, faithful and just, forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Shall pray. Holy before him. Lord, once again, thank you for our sin. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for mercy. The mercy is the Lord you made for us. Young man, come, O God. Without you, without fear. Have us such you with all boldness through the blood of Jesus, for whom we found favor and mercy. We come boldly tonight once again. Jesus, you know, mother, we know ourselves. We trust in your grace, trust in all your mercy. Forgive us any iniquity. We'll forgive us any wickedness. For all our mistakes and ups and downs, Lord, forgive us and worship in the blood and make it worthy before you. Cleanse from all unrighteousness and make it clean. Make us all, O oh God. Through the blood of Jesus tonight, you I show before you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to you. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Glory to God, the name of Jesus. The name the praise. The name the praise. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. For your mercy. Blessed be the name. Glory to your God. In the name of Jesus. We want to continue a prayer this time. I said, Lord, we are in an age full of evil and wickedness. A lot of darkness. Your wife's even gross darkness covering the people. But unto us, when the light come, and you're given it, come on, say, arise and shine, for your light is come. Our light for this hour have made manifest. Our light given us in this day to walk in it have been made known to us. Lord, we come. And we can't do it by ourselves. We come trusting you. We come. The Lord, it will more, shine more and more on our, on our way. That light, that revelation only come through by the Spirit, Lord. Revealing it to our spirit. Shining on us. Breaking forth on us. To give us. Show us the path Lord, to walk in. We are before you tonight. Your own name and your memory. Say, how we be a man and your memory? Radin and Munku could two men in one word in so. You won't know how in any unintimo. Must be being a year one in it to me. There's nothing I can do by our power, but it's all by spirit, for it's not by my snowball power. So tonight we are asking your ability, your strength, your anointing, your grace to be released by your spirit into our inner man, to be strengthened with might. By your spirit, by your glorious power. Oh, that man know the length and the breadth and the height and the depth of God. That man be filled with your fullness, as Paul said. So that's how we are here tonight. May strengthen once again. Shall pray in the name of Jesus. We come bold for today's glory. We need more. We need more of you. We need more of your grace. We need more of your ability. In the name of Jesus. Oh, flow to us. Let some quickening power. Quicken us go where we are dead. Make us alive everywhere on you in the name of Jesus. The revelation of God, the light that will be true for us. The light that will be given us in this day to walk in. We want to know I'm in the anointing. The quickening power said there's a spirit in the man, the spirit in almighty. Oh, give them a sun, it throws light. We open to them, go in the dimension that they've never been before. We pray to them in the name of Jesus. That something of God will open. Your spirit of love will come from an anointing. We pray for what God upon our lives. Moving into a new dimension and experience with your Lord. In the name of Jesus. Want to know more? Want to know more? Have deeper understanding and revelation of God. Of what you brought that is in the name of Jesus. Preparing for your coming. Preparing for dimensional change, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We're looking to, we're looking to trust you, Lord, God Almighty. 
God, it's not my might, it's not my power. Oh, help us this evening. Help us, we pray. Lord, fill us. Fill up with the mind. Fill up with the mind. Fill up with the grace. More fill, more fill. Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, when the Spirit of God, oh, the Spirit of God, quickening power. In the name of Jesus, quickening us to God. That transforming power, transform our life. Draw closer to you, Lord. Pull us closer to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, want you know, who want you know? Jesus, want to look on to you. We're looking on to you in this, in this hour. Oh, I want to see you. All I want to see. Look upon his face. Oh, that to sing forever. Of a saving grace, oh, on the streets of glory, left me laid my voice, oh, cast apart, oh, my Lord, ever to rejoice. Oh, I want to see him, oh, all I want to see him, oh, look upon his face. Oh, that the sing forever of a saving grace on the street of glory, on the street of glory. Let me lift my voice, let me lift my voice. Oh, cast upon, oh, my Lord, have I to rejoice. All I want to see him now, all I want to see, oh, look upon his face. Hear that to sing forever, oh, of his saving grace. On the street of glory, on the street of glory, oh, let me lift my voice, yeah, cause of my Oh, my last ever to rejoice. Bless up your name. As I thank you for the Sunday that we sing it. As I journey to the land, please let me sit it. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing so. To cover it, to the crimson flow. Many arrows, many arrows press my soul from without within. But my Lord, lead me on through Him, I must win. Oh, oh I want, yeah, look upon the face. Oh, that to sing forever of a saving grace. Oh, on the streets of glory. Oh, let me lift my voice. Oh, cast up us. Oh, my Lord, ever to rejoice when he service for my Lord. Dark may be the night, yes, but I clench for close to him. He will give me light. I sure he will give the light. Satan, sorrow me, bless my soul. Turn my door aside. But my Lord goes high. Lay what I did time. Yeah, oh. Oh, I want to see him look upon. Hallelujah, that to sing forever. Oh. Hallelujah, glory. Let my voice focus on us. Oh, ever to rejoice. Twas 
So the people really enjoying the weather. Amen. <laughs> it's a good weather to sleep and to relax. Hallelujah. But some are serious. They want to see to be at his presence. Fulfill the word of God. To do for sick the assembly of the brethren. Hallelujah. Because we are in a time that nobody is able to descend the teasings and the times. Hallelujah. There's a season and there's a time. That's how God does his thing. And he's prayed in dispensation. Paul talk about dispensation of time. When something had to happen. Hallelujah. And so when you don't, you don't see or not able to discern the times and the season. You won't be able to know what God is doing. But at each particular time of season and time in the disposition, you're doing something. Amen? Jesus came at a time And planted something. At the time of planting, in the life of every farmer, there's a planting season and there's a harvesting season. And it's so appointed to us. Now Jesus said, Can't you discern the season or the times? That means some people may not be able to discern the times and the sin they are in. They send something happening. Hallelujah. And certain things can prevent you from discerning the time that you are in. Because you might be caught up with the traditions 
of what has been going on for so many years, which you've been, maybe you, be, you are born into that tradition. And normally when you are born into something difficult to live with. <laughs> you don't want any change. You want to keep going with it all the time. Hallelujah. But if you want the children of Israel coming out of Egypt with the pillar of fire leading them at a certain point they have to stop for a time and a season and then the pillar of fire will move and when the pillar of fire move every camp every tent has to fold up and move with it. If you stay behind, you are going to die there. Amen? Where the, fear of, the pillar of fire carries everything that you need. So when you don't move with it, you're going to die. The life is with that pillar of fire. He knows the way he knows the direction. Amen? So without him leading, or if you throw him off, you throw off what? Your life. But what he has said, and I'm going to go to the house, I'm going to go to na obi a twen pendudu a obi gina no munyina mugina ho amen no nya se otu anamon se kim ase se obi a bunu ketem fodo ne tent no di se kona nim ko pe so be du be binu gina e be be gina bi su nima bi koso di be bi anak skom di wom Everybody will not pay you any. On a bill, kind on supply, on the woman here, be a amen. The best will turn a more. I said, When you're not true, I'm on be hallelujah. So that I've been the journey of the church, hallelujah. Yeah, show you many more. You were a sorry, me. I want to talk so on song. Seven church ages. We are seven messengers. All the messengers are dead and gone. The last one died in 1965. Which is our prophet for this generation. About almost 58 what, years ago. That's the last one. But what you say? So you are watching and looking at all that the Bible, the Bible can you know. But if we, he came and gave us a total picture of the program of God. On my young coupon Susan program. But then in the end, so I know I know what you did can kind say would you for any mission was told say your message. Not you, but your message will for the second coming of Christ. Amen. So he Revelation ten one, made known to Revelation ten seven. Huh? So this is what is going to happen. But if you want Revelation ten, it's not up to one seven. But the same book that was given to this prophet. The same book was given to John who was following closely this angel of Revelation 10.7. Amen. The same book when I demand John which John was supposed to continue where Revelation 10.7 left off. Go what the angel said. In the book after in the book he said, Thou must what? Prophesy again. So if you are watching now, a dispensation from the first church age 
to the seven churches, you know. A dispensation with the bank, a trim. Before the prophet died, and also. Now we are moving toward the rapture word, age. But what you We are moving to the rapture age. That means some ages and ages have passed and gone. Now he's pointing at what? A different age altogether from the other ages that have passed. What you say? So, then we're going to know in that rapture age, you know, what are we to look for? What are we expecting? Then I say, you share them. Then I be see. The rapture age, then the people are preparing to what? Take off. Amen. They are preparing to be raptured. So the seed that was planted when Jesus came, well, he was all the grain, the grain of wheat. We say, if he doesn't die, he died alone. Or if he died, Lord, when he's coming up, he will come out in plenty. The cheddar started, that went down, the dark ages. Coming up through Martin Luther, John Wesley, and then the Pentecostal age. Now the fullness of it is to come in this age. And the one who planted it at this end time, he's coming up for it, to take it back to what? It's bad. But what you say? Oh, but you do, you know? Oh, but you got this and time when the seed that was planted is coming back to what? Seed again. The original seed. But what you say? But you can live in the age and not realize and recognize the dispensation which you are. Obey to me, I think I want to Eh? I want to ask you what is happening and you can miss it. Also, God by his grace can within five minutes change your word. Dispensation. Hmm, hallelujah. So I wanted to look at some few things and then we we'll pray and go. Uh, Matthew, oh no, John. Then come John from chapter John chapter six from verse twenty four. Then see how Jesus would deal with the people, the the Jews. John chapter from twenty four. When the people therefore saw that Jesus went was not there, neither and his disciples they also took ship shipping and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi. When comest thou hither? Hallelujah. And Jesus answered and said, Very well, I say unto you, ye seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life. He's trying to point them to something, change their focus, change their mind. Say, this is not why I'm here. Not the food that you ate that time you were full. And you know, me, me, me I came with something more than that food to give you a life everlasting. Amen. Which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him has God what? He has God the Father what? Sealed. Amen. For well, that life everlasting, you can only receive it when the Spirit of God is in you and you are transformed, born again, change, have that glorious body, which can only happen at a time of what? Rapture. Amen? Potentially with the Holy Ghost inside you are what? Everlasting life. But then, to live everlasting, you need to what? Transform, change, you need to transform, I mean, uh, uh, body change. Put you in a different world, in the class of God. Look how you have a life can live forever. So he was pointing them, or, or the woman arguing, see, baby, so. Say, Mama, this, this is not what I'm here to feed you with kind of things. No. But there's something more. 
Amen. But see, they said unto him, What shall we do that we might watch the works of God? Jesus said unto them, This is the work of God that you might believe him whom he has sent. They therefore said unto him, What sign show then thou then that we may see and believe thee? What was that work? <laughs> that it. Our father did eat manna in the desert. As it's written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. They almost need years or a year, no? Oh. We have had experience. Moses, he gave our fathers what? Bread to eat. What, what are you also going to offer? Are you going to offer something different from what Moses offered? But my before. You are more than Moses. Eh? Then Jesus answered, Whatever I say unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven. But my father gave you the true bread from heaven. Still, I was trying about the actual thing also. Because they are man, they are focused, have been what? with the traditions of the fathers. And that's what they are holding on to. But yes, we should imagine because there is something new happening. A different dispensation is about what? Open. But they are no more than I know, and no they bear, I bear some hindrance to them and trying to what? Pull them away from it. Because until they know that this is a new dispensation, this is a new time, this is a new season that is coming. Amen? And we are not looking at carnal things. There's something beyond this kind. There's something more than just eating, I mean, literal bread and what? And so on. There's a bread which is come down from heaven. Which is God himself giving what? His life. There's a new dispensation he's going to open. And they said unto him, Lord, if we more give us that, this bread, and Jesus said unto him, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believe on me shall never test. But I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father give me shall come to me. And him that cometh out, I will not cast out. For I came from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the will of the Father which he has sent me, that all which he has given me, I shall lose nothing, but shall rise up again at the last day. And this is the word of the Father has sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. And the, the Jews, them murmured at him, because he said, I am the bread we come down from heaven. Oh. The Ecosu, the new move that is going to come. They are not able to see it well. Amen. They can only receive that when they believe on him, the Son of Man. Amen. He is that bread, he is that life they need now. God wants to give me a life. And the life what? Is in what? His son. But they see this man as one of them. What do I mean? One of the competitors. They know his father. <laughs> eh? And this is not this Joseph's son. And then what they are saying there. I mean, father too. And they say, is it not this Joseph, Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How then he that he said, I came down from heaven. Amen. I don't know if you can say of this room by the end. Amen. And that have been what? Their problem. That have been what? An issue. Because Jesus was trying to what? pull them awake from the tradition that they are holding for all these years. Amen. And look at it. This is the three one one two eight um testimony testimony. Well, you see, when 
you don't see and understand the dispensation of woman and what God is doing, and you miss it. You actually miss your your ujie, eh? your redemption, your 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 time for what redemption. Amen. A chemoa, a chem. You will never have it again. Hallelujah. Are you there? Paragraph 23. Saying, it's astounding to see the hour that we are living in. It frightens me. Are you there? Mm-hmm. It frightens me. Not because in my heart, the joy bells are ringing, knowing that the coming of the Lord is so close at hand. But what frightens me is to know that there's men that so many is unprepared for the hour that we are facing. That's the bad part. So many unprepared because they don't know their dispensation. And it's so frightening that when God is doing something, will be a baby so or two and a and the people who he came for are unable to what? Recognize and see. But imagine when you look at that, what? He became frightened. Amen? Let's go ahead. This, I mean, um, a trial, 64, 04, 27. Paragraph 45. A trial. Yeah, 0427. Trial. Man between. 45. I want to pick it from Christ and the church. It goes from my Christ and the church down there. What's it? Christ, we found that in this day that we are living in, there's nothing different from any other, any other day. Man, the church, is always praising God for what is done and saying, and always saying what he's going to do. And they're rec- ridiculing what he is what? Doing. Amen. That has always been the history of the church. And the same way tonight. It's because of the man made theorists get into it and get all mixed up. When the true word speaks of itself, they are so full of what? Greed. They are what? Blinded by, the, by that glare. They can't accept it. Why? The reason that the Lutheran, the Methodist, the, the Methodist people, this fine Methodist boy here, just a while ago, no, talking about certain boy. Let's get down, get down. I see if you look into the scripture, what the church ages and what it ages is to do, you find out right there we are living. We are living what? In this age. What the church is, every church is and what? Its message. Every church is and what? What God revealed to them. But coming down to our church age, all that was gathered in all those churches, you know, was built, had been brought here. What they lost in them churches, now for what purpose? It's for, to make the whole world full. To bring what? Something that God had at the back of his mind. Something that have gone on and it's about what? Finish the whole thing. Amen? Certain thing that was what? Known in other ages. All has been what? Being revealed here. For what purpose? To bring to an end what God started. But what you are saying? But it's difficult when we have been through a certain tradition, a certain mindset, eh? and something is coming and you want to change. I mean, you want, I mean, the thing is trying to what? Change from what we have been holding for a long time. It becomes what? Very difficult. And when you are not ready to change, you will always what? Miss what God is doing. When you're ready for 
More light being given. Not that I mean he's trying to change, but he's good. Throw more light on what you already have. Was not was fully revealed from the beginning. Amen. Nothing was fully revealed. It's solely in this entire that the whole thing was being open. The full word Bible said Abraham said was being born into manifestation. So that if you are holding on so dogmatically hmm, to the old thing, and then that's so, all, you always miss the dispersion now what change that is going on. Amen. You will miss it. If you are a mouse, Jesus was with them. He preached, he said a whole lot of things. He talked about his death and also his resurrection. But what happened? Yes, we are sorry. And when Jesus died, eh? they thought everything is finished. When you are thinking, oh, he was the one who was come to save Israel. Now he's dead. I mean, the whole thing what? I, I failed. That's your mind. I didn't hear about any year. It was so sad. So on the road to a mouse, Jesus shared on 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 a casano. No, be so be sound. The akosu. I said, ah, na unku ana we ho ho kromwa. The akosu ni na anti jesa wu umwe. And then they tell him what I, I mean. Before that man, Jesus. I said, oh, I'm not to Christ to die. And I feel like they oh, be a dinner material. Amen. And he expanded and expanded and expanded. I feel and they began to understand. So, all along, they don't know something has happened. A new door has been opened. A dispensation change has occurred by his death. So until what? The light shone on them, the, the thing opened for them. They were seeing their password dispensation. Tell you what I want you to get. So when Jesus expanded the thing for them, and then now they began to understand, that very moment they were changed to a different dispensation. Are you getting it? That very moment, you go realize, oh, so it's not that the thing had failed. It's not that he had died. And, 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 and the whole thing, what? what the purpose of his game, you know? no. It's rather what? That was a plan. The plan was what? He's going to die. He's going to give you life. Amen? And that life is going to a move into what? A new dispensation. We've learned the life of God. We promise that one of these, I will write my word in their heart, I'll give them a new spirit, I'll put my spirit in them. Now this is the dispensation at the AC. So now from that time, then they began to what? Understand the whole purpose of Jesus coming. That moved them completely wrong. From the what? Old dispensation to what? A new dispensation. What do you say? We've been in this message for so long before we started this. Thing. And then we we're holding this message. If Jesus said there, no, 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 no. And I want to know when we left our new old place. And then we started this thing here. With time going on, going on, the settings began to open up. So, ah. Then what were we believing all along? I didn't know any agent, that wasn't the thing. Now this we are seeing what? This is the real thing. This is the purpose of this prophet coming. That particular time, my own son, we have fought, open up a new dispensation for us. And now you could see, sir, now we are becoming to what? Understand the thing. So we ask ourselves, so all along, what were we what? Believing. We said we are in the message. We were, you can you were saying, you were saying, you were saying, you were saying, we thought we were believing the message, but rather what we were holding, was in the message. And would you believe it? This thing is happening to people right now, as I'm saying. I'm saying it not because of you people here. 
<laughs> I'm saying because people are on the on outside world listening to us. They don't know what a dispensation has changed. God has moved what the thing has moved to a different one dispensation altogether. And when God open your eyes, huh, in a moment you'll be changed into what a different dispensation. Like we experience it. Amen. Paul, Apollos, message certain people. Where this first pull of John the Baptist. Apollo himself didn't assign certain things. So, by God's grace, they got Priscilla like Aquila. This guy is very, very enthusiastic. So, verse he can. Eloquent to the Lord, speak. But then you only believe unto what? John. So they expanded the thing more to him and he got it. And so now he began to also speak boldly about the way of the Lord as the Bible said it. So within a short time through Aquila and Priscilla he now what? And the son what? The thing new, a dispensation what? I've been open to him now. He has moved from what? John the Baptist what? Dispensation which is past. Into what? A new dispensation. So now he took him to meet certain people and he also began to respond to them. But there's more that he doesn't know. So Paul also came. He met Oshia, this uh, disciples of John. He said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? See, they don't know anything about any Holy Ghost. They said, then what were you what? What are you believing? What are you ordering? Also, the battle I mean, of repentance, which was preached by what? John. That means they are still old. I don't know, Jim. John was pointing them toward something that is coming, but they are still holding on to John, which is past. So imagine that if not by God's grace, these people, Apollos and uh, Paul, came around, what would they be believing? Still holding to something that is past. And that thing cannot prepare them what? for what is coming. What is ahead? So they forever remain what? John Baptist. And the thing will pass and then they'll be left. But what he has said. So, may you choose what you You see, when you are maybe sitting here and hearing things that we are hearing and understanding the message as it is today, or by God's grace, he has been to us. You should be very thankful to God for granting an asset to something which earlier on we all were believing and holding on to, thinking that was it. And by God, they come to find out, oh, the thing is not that we're holding on to. And yes, Akra. That thing is different. Amen? So, as it happened to those disciples of John, and those Jews who are so holding on to those creed and so on. So it's helping people in this message now, 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 as I'm speaking. There are people who should hold on, don't know anything. The, the messengers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dead and gone. I'm called all of that. Eh? But when you read Revelation 10, the whole chapter. You can see that it doesn't end in chapter 7. Amen? Between the Gentile prophet and the Jews prof two prophets, there's something there. A bit of Revelation 10, 7 was left for another group to fulfill, to continue. Amen? And that's a dispensation where we are now. Amen? The reason that we are holding on so strong to the prophet message because his message is for run the, to the what? The second coming to the end. So, Revelation 10, 8 to 11 is holding on the same message because that was given to him. But Revelation what? 7. The message that was given to Revelation 10, 7 is the same message given to what? Revelation 10, 8 to 11. And you told him your message, not him. 
For Ram, the second coming. Amen? And before he died, he told us, oh, now we are moving to what? An, another age, a new age. Rapture age. And that's even what? Rapture message. So if your minister, like Abraham will say, huh? and Jesus will say what? If you don't have somebody who know that the age and dispensations, there are different, different dispensations, God move the light through. True. And the last one, after the seventh church eight messenger is gone, amen, there is still what? A dispensation left for a people who are per be permitted to have access to what the seventh angel what? brought. And that message is to carry them to the end. If they don't know that, that's a portion I've been left for this little group. But they are so holding on to the prophet. Eh? And don't know anything about what? A portion being left for this little group, I tell you. <laughs> they will fail. They'll be seen. They'll be left behind. God, it's a light that God is shining. And you must go with the light. Like I said, the pillar of fire, when he moves, you have to move with him. Because he's the one carrying the light. The pillar of fire has moved with the prophet. Now what? It's with this little group. Amen? So you must know what is this little group, what is it about? Amen? Say, who is it? And he's saying, but they are what? An age of rapture. That's what they've been brought. An age that God is preparing them to take them on. Give them on. A dimensional change. Amen? What kind of messages they need that will prepare them to make that? Hallelujah. That's what we all have to be looking for. Otherwise, we'll be like the people, those Jews, who are holding to Moses and they'll be fighting Jesus uh, things that he's that so. I mean, we know his father and mother and the capital son. Uh, being blind by the word, tradition, and faith word, recognize the message of their day. That will bring them redemption. The same thing happened. You might speak about them, but I don't know, say, most of the people you are also here, not knowing a decision that have been what, open to us. Hallelujah. Amen. There's more we can go through. Maybe let's look at some and then we'll pray. Amen. Mm. Let's see. 59. 59. 02.11. Simon and Anna. It's a message to pray. Simon and Anna 59.02.11 paragraph U4. Oh, okay. I wanted to change it. Okay, you love ready, and then we come to the other one. So don't you see what he's doing? He's calling his elect children together, just like he did then. Simon and Zacharias and Lisbon, the John the Baptist, they were just getting ready. Something was fixing to happen. The other part of the world, even the religious world, thought they were gone off on the wrong word. End. They were what? Fanatics. Huh? Oh, we talk about rapture, you know, and then age in the moon come as him. Amen. There's nothing like rapture aid written in the Bible. Somebody will say. Huh? And you people have become of fanatics. Huh? But they don't know what they were talking about. Simon know what he was speaking about of. For the Holy Ghost has said so. He had one right to believe it. If the Holy Ghost says so, that settles it. If the Holy Ghost says so, that settles it. 
And we know the prophet was the minister of the Holy Ghost. Who he has here? And he's saying this. He that said, okay, let's go sister two. One, two, two, three. The reproach for the cause of the Lord. Sister two, one, two, two, three. The reproach for the cause of the Lord. Paragraph 190. One ninety, yeah. one ninety, one ninety. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. Men always the same as ever, and I'm going to say something again, and I want you. I don't know whether it is being taped or not, but if it is on tape, I want you to listen at me. You on tape on the tape. Don't you miss it, but study it. Man now, like he's always been. He's praising God for what he's done. Looking for, for what he would, do, he would do. And ignoring what he has done and is doing. You see? He ignoring what he has done and is doing currently. Now, the BS is the BS. The BS is the BS. And then the BS is the BS. Oh, what wants them? It don't an end us about what God is doing right then. He ignored that why he doesn't see it. Huh? You know what he's doing? And then he misses the whole thing. I hope they get it because he's speaking to us because we are on tip. Eh? He ignored what he's doing. He knows what he's, he's done. And he knows the promise what he would do. But he failed to see what he's doing. Oh, you Pentecostals. If you are not an example of that, you are looking for, for something to, to happen. As always. Happen right under you. And you don't know it. The thing happen right under you don't know it. Eh? We come from the Pentecostal side. Amen. <laughs> How often will we hear of what? Hover, hover over you as a hand go, does his her brood. But you will not. You taught more of your traditions and denominations than you did of his word and his what? His spirit. There's one statement uh, when you read the church you say what? He that I'm here let him hear. What? What? The spirit what? Says, Amen. Well, what the Spirit is saying, He's saying through the messenger, God, He was given the revelation of for the age. So, if you want to hear what the Spirit is saying, then you must identify what the messenger, the message, or the word, the messenger. That is what the Spirit is saying. Amen. So, for a lot of people are going to miss it. God, they ignore, they look at the flesh or the messenger, ignoring that the voice of that messenger is the voice of the spirit. What the spirit is speaking to that word, I mean generation. Amen? And every messenger is a light to that word, dispensation and that age. So if you ignore that Messenger, because you think, sir, and the brother, you eh? And then the name to say, now wait, wait, dear, no more by the church. You're actually what? Ignoring what the Spirit is saying. Amen? And that be what? The downfall of many is going to miss the whole thing. Or they refuse the voice of the Spirit, which comes what? The messenger of the age. Paul was a light to what? That dispensation. Was a light to what? To the Gentiles. The people who live in, the, in darkness, what? A great light has shone on them. Amen? Was it for if this end were chosen, that, that would be what? A light to the what? The Gentiles. Every messenger in that dispensation, in their dispensation, is a light to that, I mean, generation or dispensation. Amen?
Okay, let's look at the last one. Then we pray and go. Sister three zero one twenty six investment. Sister three zero one twenty six investment. Paragraph one o three. Hallelujah. As Jesus said, yeah, Jesus said, he claimed to be the children of the prophets. Amen? I like that statement because some way a, a, a prophet in the Madia, at least the prophet has revealed something to you. Amen? So when you claim, then you, you must know God speaks to what? The prophet. He would done nothing but would reveal what to his prophet. And he are the one you put them in the grave. And you garnish what? They are tombs. <laughs> That's what they do. He says, you fair, fair. Oh, you have to for. But you are living for no kanankasano. Woman tiasse. Woman tiasse. They don't know what he's saying. Because we are thinking that God did, did do on the day of Pentecost and to the early age. And then we are saying God is, is going to come with a great something. And the first thing you know, pass right as bite. And we never knew it. He should always prove itself it right and repeat itself. We pass, let it go right by. And didn't what? Notice it. I didn't be sorry, huh? Oh, yeah, you're different, you're different, you're different. They are praying so deep for no. We live in so much. But what the prophet brought actually, you don't understand. We believe the prophet, believe the prophet. What are the prophet saying? The thing you brought, do you understand? Oh. Talk about seven thunders. Oh, the prophet didn't win seven thunders. didn't need seven thunders. Those things are yet to come. What? Tepu. Huh? Eh? I said, they're pushing existence. I said, no. It's, it's not existence. When Tepu comes, something will happen. You see? What the Tepu would do. He didn't get it. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen and amen. There's more we can. I said, every age and every star, every minister to each age and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's read it out then. Sister 30901, token. This message, it should point a direction. It should point you to a certain way. Went to me and tears here. You miss it and that's it. You can go the other You see, what prevent, like I said earlier, what prevent a lot of people from seeing a thing if what we are holding on before. You are not ready to let it go. A tradition. This is uh, paragraph 187. You see, the message of the hour is a sign to the churches. The message of this hour is a sign. The messenger himself is a sign. The message is also what? A sign. It is a sign to the people. Are you, are you catching it? <laughs> he tried to draw the people's attention to something. So, it's not just a message. That's what I brought. This is what? He signposts what? Directing you to something. And every time you miss a signpost that directs you to a, your destination, you, you miss the whole thing and you go... You, it will land in a different place. And that's what majority a lot of people are going to miss it. Well, they are looking to the skin, the flesh, or the messenger. Amen? The Jews did the same thing. The message came to his own. His own no, believe him not. Eh? I say, I hope on the tape is referring to you by me again. I hope on a tip that you are doing the same thing. See? The other part of the world. See? The our sign is here. 
The hour that we are in, that sign for us is here. Amen? There's a token that God would apply. And the other time, you could have come. This message that will give you the token, that will give you the Holy Ghost, that will take you to your destination. And no come on, I tell you, my brother. Why you And because of this, God will hold him to his flesh. Huh? But the mighty God unveiling himself is hidden behind the scene. Amen. Hallelujah. They fail to see him. They fail to see the mighty God speaking toward a human vessel. We are just looking at the flesh. Hmm? They look at the flesh. God what misunderstood. They didn't understand. They misunderstood the whole thing. Hallelujah. But this message is a sign to the church, the sign to the people. When you fail to see God's sign, uh, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, they all became what? A sign to the people. God used them. What was happening in their life was a sign God was showing to the people something. Hallelujah. And when they miss it, that's it. So I believe we'll not be like those people going to a mouse and then those disciples who are still holding to John, John baptism. But thank God, within five minutes, they will change toward a different disposition. I pray the Lord will help us. So we'll not be holding to any tradition. But thank God, over here, by God's grace, they have opened the door unto us. But brethren on, on air, I believe so wherever you are, you understand the message and understand the word. If the minister would do anymore, on tears here, it's like what? A blind man leading what? A blind into ditch. If I continue, you see, Brother Brown will say something along this same line. Hallelujah. But you're saying, you know, I want us to pray a little. Remember me saying, the only way you know what the trumpet sound is to look at the music sheet. The music sheet that is playing in this dispensation at this center. You have to see it. It is a great symphony and it's beating. And now look at what? Uh, First Thessalonians chapter 4, 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. The end time, the coming of the Lord, he coming for the harvest. What he planted when he's, he's coming for it. That is a message that I pray. And you must know what the coming of the Lord is. And a message. Oh, the, the shout. What it is. That's what the matter today. Too many directors. Not in the spirit of the composer. They say, oh, denomination, when we believe this, no matter what they say, the Bible is right. Beat it out according to the musician right here before it. Then a great symphony of God's great act is, is played out right now. Just right. Then we can see the hour and where we are standing. Yeah, Bumpai, and you may. Yeah, Dana, see, they did kind. So what do me? Because we have to really appreciate what the Lord has done for. We really appreciate. God, we thought we were in it, and so many years we've been in it. I think for, I would say for about fifteen years or more. Then we didn't know the whole thing. What we were holding on was in the thing. Fifteen, eighteen years, you holding on something which is in the thing. But God, by His grace. 
just in a moment change the whole thing put her what into a different dispensation by opening the world unto us because we let go of our tradition the more pain than us bon pain than us father we give you praise thank you so much glory to your god for such love such fear let shut be your name Glory to you, O oh God, for opening up unto us a dispensation of time and a season that we are now able to see, realize your word that is being spoken by your spirit through a man, a word that should prepare us, God, for dimensional change. Lord God Almighty, we say we thank you. For such love, such grace, such door, and an ass would open unto us in this same time to experience God, the grace of God, our understanding of the message that has been brought to the prophet, a message to call a people for his name, a message to prepare people for dimensional change, a message to see, reveal God in us. To show us our true identity, where we came from, what we are, who we are, and what we are, where we're going. Blessed be your name. Glory to you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Your name be praised. Your name be praised. Your name be praised. Blessed be your name. What a blessed revelation, Lord. We pray. We are so much grateful to you, Lord. Open our eyes and we pray, Lord God Almighty, the light that has been shined, a passion that has been left for this same time, right? A John at this same time who is to prophesy once again, but from the same message that was given out to this prophet of Revelation 10 7, same message was given to John. Oh, and by which you have to eat it and prophesy. We pray, oh God, may you help us to feed on our portion that has been left for us. May we see, may we identify ourselves, Lord, and know what a message is and what a message that needed to be preached. The message that will prepare our Lord for that move, that dimensional change. We trust you, Lord, looking to your God in the name of Jesus. That is Santa. Jesus. You help your, your people. This church one. Oh, whom you are speaking to by a spirit. By the voice of the spirit. Being the voice of God for this hour. The voice of God through the prophet. By the voice of God. But in God's world, the prophet was God hiding himself. Oh, in the human flesh. The mighty God, he unveiled the mighty God. But we'll always misunderstood him. We misunderstood God's doing, Lord, through the prophet. And so we judge him by the flesh, not knowing the Spirit of God, Lord, doing all this through him. Father, we pray, help your children in this hour to identify God and know. Oh, see the symphony that has been played. What has been played out? The music she the part of the music that we had to work been listening to me and being that spirit the same composer fulfilling the word. Jesus help your people on this hour. Yeah. Yeah, pie, and so are they. Every blindness of the devil that she covering the people in the name of Jesus. God the devil always try to bind the people to their old traditions. So that they will soon hold on to it. And so doing, they miss the whole thing. Come on, Pai. Every tradition that is holding us, keeping us from seeing what we are to see and understand what we need to understand. Rather than to me, every power fighting of God, understanding, the spiritual understanding, the devil can fight your understanding of the thing. He can pull the light from shining. We need God, Lord, to bring a powerful revelation. To pass off any demonic word, traditional 
is burning the people and keeping us from seeing what God wanted to see. Yeah, my pastor, shall pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We say, light has come. But the people should love darkness. Our light has been shined. But the people should hold on to their tradition. The enemy who has put banners trying to blind the people from seeing what they need to see. By law holding them to the traditions of men. We pray tonight in the name of Jesus. That tradition be broken. The hold of the spell of the devil. That prevent life from penetrating to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Open up. Let the Lord pray through. Let the Lord pray through. Break of it, Lord. Tradition that's keeping us go from seeing more, from understanding more. In the name of Jesus. 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 Help this center, Lord. Minister. Help us, Lord, this center. In the name of Jesus. Let the light, let the light penetrate. Every darkness out of our life. Let the light penetrate, break. Every darkness out of our life. Let the light break through. The light given us in this hour. The light that shine in our way. In the name of God, we shine us from more more to a perfect day. Bring on a day dawn, O oh God. And put us upon in that some morning. When the rapture take place, I pray, O oh God, help us. May the Lord penetrate. Brush every darkness away from us. In the name of Jesus, shine more brightly, shine more brightly. Give a deep understanding. In the name of Jesus, the revelation that now we need to open that door, to open up. Revelation of God, to enter. Into the rapture of faith, the message that we need, and which are already being offered to us in this day. Jesus, help us, Lord. Help us, you go. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to you, God. Glory to you, God. Glory to you, God. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray. Let's thank God for tonight. We say thank you. And as we saw, I am more than Kuara. Now you are so more. Oh, my was as well. Now men, you know, you Oh, I Oh, 
خوشتر جا نه من یه لایدی او چومدی Let us sing in the morning. Morning, so shall the crum crum or don't flow. Let us sing in the morning. Don't cast your words on my mind. I'm in tears. I want to hear you. 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 Yes, you're sharing more. You won't say we will do more. We're ready to do more. Times and a season. There's nothing I do without showing a sign. Any time, any season, certain things must happen. On my own, I want to say that change in dispensation. What we are looking for? Why you brought us to? And it's what we are preparing to move to a multi-dimensional age. And therefore, you give us a message that pertains to that particular word, age. Don't mind why you want to hear the answer. The drone on a sila when in the air, when someday, an anomaly to the same attitude, a flowering. From seeing the thing or seeing, understanding and hearing what the Spirit is saying to this dispensation, we pray that Lord will help us come to realize those on earth, whatever they may be, listening to us, we will turn them ashes to change your God, their dispensation, and put them on a different station where they can be prepared and be made ready. That they don't miss what you are doing, the beat that has been played, the song on the composer, what is being played in the music sheet, what is saying. May we be in that sense, put the composer and the director as a direct our way in this end time. Blessed be your name for giving in such understanding of the message. For this hour, we give all the glory, give all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray often as we give, Lord, as we bless you for us and bless everyone. Continue to Lord, lead us, guide our steps in everything. We need more understanding, oh, more revelation, knowledge of this message to maybe really be prepared in the name of Jesus for for this age and for that dimensional change that is. Pending is ahead of us. Blessed be your name for helping, taking us through once again this day in Jesus' name. We live in here, not living your presence. May your mighty and keep us together very soon safely. We give out the glory and praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen.